Hello my friends, today we are going to Bison Farms in the United States to see how the process of raising tens of thousands of bison happens. Currently, about 359,000 bison are raised as livestock on farms in South Dakota, Nebraska, Colorado and Oklahoma. In addition, in the United States, there are about 31,000 wild bison being preserved in national parks. In particular, Yellowstone National Park is the most famous place when it comes to this animal. And here, there are about 5,300 wild bison living. After about 283 days from mating, the female bison at this farm have begun to breed. The reproductive process of these female bison usually lasts only one hour. Each year in the United States, about 113,000 bison calves are born, and about 2% of them will die in the process of birthing. Calves here when they're born average at about 55 pounds, about 30% heavier than wild bison calves. On these farms, calves will live with their mothers for seven months before weaning. According to statistics in 2021, in the United States, there are 513 bison farms distributed across the country with different sizes. In particular, South Dakota is the state with the largest number of farms, with 104, and accounts for 24% of the number of bison raised in the country. In addition to South Dakota, Nebraska is also the state with many bison farms and is ranked second in the list of states with the most bison farming, with about 23,000. In the next positions are Montana with 11,000, followed by Colorado with 10,000, and Oklahoma also with 10,000. Every day, herders will herd bison into the grasslands so that they can freely feed. The calves will also be eating with their mothers and they are all protected by their hedges that surround the pasture area. Female bison are considered fully mature when they reach two and a half to three years of age. Meanwhile, bulls are only considered mature and are mated by ranchers when they reach four to five years old. Currently, up to 85% of bison in the United States are raised free range. About 15% are kept on small scale farms. This is an Oklahoma ranch that is home to 167 adult bison and 53 calves. Currently, there are 57 bison farms in Oklahoma, concentrated mainly in the area bordering the state of Missouri. About 1,300 bison are slaughtered in Oklahoma each year. In addition to being free to graze, farm-raised bison are also supplemented with other foods such as corn and grain in pellet form. A full-grown bison has an average weight of 1,800 pounds and females average a weight of 960 pounds. Every day, each bison here needs to eat an amount equivalent to 3% of their body weight. When the pastures around the farm are in the process of being restored, the workers here will use dry straw to feed the bison herd. This is a bison farm with 75 cows in Colorado. According to the information that this ranch owner shared, each year the bison here eat 127,000 pounds of dry straw, equivalent to about 2,300 bales. During the breeding season, 
the bulls will fight fiercely with each other for the right to mate with the female bison in the herd. The mating season of the bison usually begins in June and lasts until the end of September. A male bison can mate with many female bison. However, female bison choose only one male bison to mate with during their lifetime. This is a herd of bison with about 55 heads in Montana. In the late afternoon, they will be herded into the captivity area by breeders to avoid attacks by wolves at night. According to statistics in 2021, there are 62 bison farms in Montana and about 1,400 bison are slaughtered each year in this state. About every six months, the bison raised on the farms will be medically examined and vaccinated. These herders are herding the bison into a metal cage before the health and weight checks take place. Just imagine how many people we would need to hold a bison without this cage. Here's what's going on at a cattle market in Missouri. Hundreds of bison were transported here for auction before they were slaughtered. These bison will be kept in different cages and waiting for their turn to be auctioned. Each barn will hold between five and eight bison. Here's what goes on inside the auction area. Currently, the price for a two-year-old bison is between $3,500 and $7,000. This price depends on many factors such as their appearance, origin, and level of purebred. Approximately 20,300 bison are slaughtered in the United States each year, and the livestock industry generates an estimated $384 million in revenue. In the next part of the video, we will go to goat farms in the United States to see how the process of raising millions of goats takes place. As of September 2022, there are about 2.65 million goats in the United States. They are concentrated mainly in states such as Tennessee, Texas, California and Georgia. This is a goat farm in Georgia. After about 145 days of pregnancy, hundreds of female goats here have started giving birth. According to statistics from the United States Department of Agriculture, about 778,000 baby goats are born each year and up to 47% of them are born in Texas. Look, there are a lot of flies on this goat farm but that's not much of a problem for the health of the goats. At one week old, these goats weigh about 13 pounds. At this time, they will be separated to another area to drink as much milk as possible. When the goats reach one month old, they will be allowed to go outside for freedom of movement and play. Goats are considered fully mature when they reach 18 months of age. At this point, the average weight of the goats is between 110 and 115 pounds. This is a grazing goat farm in Texas. In the morning, these herders will release the goats to the pastures so that they are free to feed. Currently in Texas, there are about 1.1 million goats, 
accounting for 41% of the national goat population. Most of the state's goats are raised for meat, with 83% of US goat meat production coming from Texas. In the late afternoon, these dogs will be used to chase the goats into the holding area, which helps them to avoid attack by coyotes at night. It is estimated that about 1,100 goats in Texas are attacked by coyotes each year. On several goat farms in South Texas, ranchers regularly move their goats to different pastures to feed. This helps the pastures last longer and reduces the incidence of parasites inside the goats. Here's what's going on at a dairy goat farm in California. The goats here have a richer diet with more grains and protein. Currently, in California, there are about 97,000 goats and 45% of them are raised for the purpose of milk harvesting. Have you ever drunk goat milk before? Let us know how you feel about the taste of this milk. This is the process of milking goats at a factory in California. This modern equipment is used to milk 90 goats at a time. Each day, each goat here can produce 9 to 12 pounds of milk. In 2022, in the United States, there are about 371,000 goats raised for milk and dairy goat farms are mainly concentrated in California, Wisconsin and Iowa. After the milking process is complete, the equipment is cleaned and the goat milk collected is sent to the cheese factory. This is a goat cheese factory in Wisconsin. Have you ever eaten goat cheese before? Let us know what you think about this dish. Currently South Sudan, Spain and France are the countries with the largest goat cheese production in the world.
here's what's going on at a traditional goat cheese production facility. How do you feel about the process of raising and producing goat cheese that we showed you in this video? Let us know what you think in the comment section of this video. Goodbye and see you in the next video.